Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. Before we get started, just want to plug two gigs. We're doing a live General Banter Podcast on the 5th of May in the Telegraph Building in Belfast. We're down there last bunch of texts. Get your hands on them in the link in the description and all that good stuff. And you know what, James? I'm doing Vicar Street in Dublin. <laughs> it, yeah. I'm doing fucking Vicar Street in Dublin, man. So oh, if, yeah, that'll be you, nice. You know Dublin. Yeah, uh, yeah. So if you know Isn't anyone that? in Dublin or you live in Dublin or you live in you know the, the general area, get a ticket to that. It's in September the 8th. And uh, tell tell every cunt you know who's ever been in Dublin. That's such a good venue. Oh, it's fantastic. And it's big, it's big for Dublin, you know. And uh, yeah, tell everyone and go to that and enjoy the podcast. Cheers. Are we live? Oh, I. We're La- live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Bander Podcast. We have no functional buttons, so imagine that you... Now we'll put in the, th- the thing, will you? <laughs> General Bander Podcast. Better podcast Jettis. is gone. Get jetties? Yes. Who? Sorry, I was on my phone. My ge- Disgusting behavior. My guest today, the one and only... <laughs> feet of a sea lion. Yeah, boy. James McKegney. Dr. We're, Glass. We're for... <laughs> Fucking Is he a doctor? Old porcelain feet over here. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm on the broken ankle world tour. Like just, that's I like know, I I I, no, I I like it. But everyone beat me to it getting you on the podcast know, to, re- to really break down the fight video. We can do it again. Fuck I, it. I, I don't know if we I can access know. it that quick, but uh, as as everyone knows, you uh, smashed your feet to bits at the Christmas Day. Fucking wrecked them. Wrecked them. Wrecked them. <laughs> yeah. Wrecked them. Ours? Nearly killed them. <laughs> Is what happened. But the beautiful thing was, I didn't feel that. I felt none. I just knew they were gone. Like, it, <laughs> it felt like they were disconnected from my legs. Are you taking that out? Aye. I'm going to see how long I can keep it. Take on. a nicotine patch out. The boys are loosey goosey on the nic- nicotines. Um, I, uh, I, um, I just knew I was gone. So I was like, I went to stand and there was no feeling in my feet. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done for. So I just kind of. I was like, I'll let them boys have their fun. I'll just crawl into the corner. <laughs> like a cat. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just die by myself. I'll just run off to die. <laughs> yeah. I did feel slightly terrible because, um, you know, I seen you leaving with William and I was like, he's just hammered. He's, <laughs> he's getting like carried out of here. William kind of made me walk to the green room. I was like, sir, my feet are actually broken. He's like, fuck, oh, come on. And I was like, can I? Do you know what the, t- uh, had you broken any bones before? That was the first time I've ever broken anything, two and for one. And you knew it was broke? Oh, immediately. Because the first thing I broke ever was my wrist, and I was still in denial about it. And really? I, and I literally was had like it's two fucking. I, I had like two. Ri- <laughs> it like broke there and there, so it was like like a fucking. You know, like I could definitely steal shit from a vending yeah. machine, <laughs> and like I, fucking... I was still like, it's probably just a really bad sprain, and it was oh, like completely snapped off. Dude, one time, like I seen the worst wrist break of my life. Me and my cousin thought it was a good idea, and we were like pretty young <laughs> to go down this ginormous. Do you remember them two wheeler skateboards? Oh yeah, snake fucking the things you have to do that. We decided oh, yeah. to go down like a main road hill on those. And I was like, you go first. He was like 12. And uh, I seen him go down. I was like, right, I'll start. And then halfway, when I was halfway down, I just seen him go. And I heard, I heard a snap. And I was like, fuck. Oh, so yeah. I just jumped off and started sprinting like out there. Because I, I knew I couldn't have stopped it. And he got up and his hand was like hanging from his wrist. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fucking gross. Is that the snap of it? The snap of things is disgusting. Like I've heard, I've heard a couple of snaps. Mm. I can deal with blood and guts and yeah. whatever other fluid. But see bones snapping and shit oh it's gross we think we seen jesus that day as well because right before we did it it was right beside this field this guy like pure jesus looking guy he was like a farmer or something <laughs> walked out of the field and goes i wouldn't go down that hill on them we were like ah no worries lad he walked off and then he broke his we were like that was literally jesus and the guy just <laughs> ascended into space yeah. <laughs> the maharaj jesus <laughs> maharaj got a new villain at the moment oh yeah there's a new villain in town <laughs> Methamine. Yeah, oh, legitimately. What? What? what no, I, meth. Methamine. Me, Methadrone. I don't know. Meth. Methamine. It's a big methamine. Vaseline. Vaseline. <laughs> Who's the villain? Are we Plain allowed to talk about Vaseline? It? Oh, I read. So there's a new villain in town. Uh, he's some boy has just decided to go to his villain era, and it's like eighties. And uh, so word got around. My sister was working in Eurospar, and then she got word from her. She got word from her manager. has been like, by the way, there's a wee boy in a wheelchair going around Crawford's trying to steal stuff and he might be making his way here and uh, they were like right so they're watching out for him and then like a video went around town of like him just driving down the, the middle of the main road causing like a pile of traffic jams he was just like going down in the wheelchair like I cannot wait till I to that age. truly don't give a yeah, fuck yeah yeah I, I think I think through doing stand up you lose a bit of the giving a fuckness yeah 100% but I, maybe you'll hit it quicker maybe at about 50 I'll just be absolutely ruthless yeah you're just not like I, I kind of respected him for it I was like 
that's cool like <laughs> it's a bit like a time someone jumped off the bridge in the motorway to kill themselves mm -hmm. and but and caused terrible traffic on an yeah, al already busy road but Just i was being like, a nuisance i was like that's the way to go yeah it's like if i'm going is i'm gonna fuck up gonna, everybody it's day. gonna be spectacular yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's hit, hit a fucking trans, hit a glider, <laughs> and just fucking block up the whole road. <laughs> Fuck you, so. Why don't you live the stick you'd be getting? Oh, mate, I know. You're like, lying there with the bones coming out of your shins. Like that was going, you fucking selfish bastard. That there guy trying to cross the road and he gets hit by the bus, and they're like, Fuck's sake, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck's sake. Scottish weather, probably. Probably, who knows? That's as good as the. Remember the guy, he's blocked and he's, he's about 80, and the guy, his mate's trying to carry him, and he's like, He's got a walking stick and he's basically floating because they're carrying him. And he's <laughs> yeah, like, your stick's not even a fucking great man. <laughs> he's just, that's right, he's still going. Like, that's what you want. You want to be like 80 and still, you know, like, I'm going to have to get hammered. Oh, yeah, no, totally. There's like, Maharaj got a lot of that. So I worked at a wee pub and there was just a lot of guys who just did the pub circuit. And they were like in their 80s, dude. <laughs> and they like, there was one guy called Willie. And he just went from pub to pub to pub. Every day, and all he had was a tomato and a fucking packet of ham. He just would eat that throughout the day, just getting smashed. He just did that every day. I wonder is that an old Alki thing? Because I remember going to my grandma's house. Didn't see him a lot. You know, he got remarried, and you know, we see him like once a fucking every two years. Yeah, and he would drink from the daylight. I, like I don't even know how you do it. Like but the what? guy would, ha the guy would have snack. You know, like really healthy snacks. You know, he'd be like, oh, I'm just having a cup of peas with a bit of salt in it. <gasps> Oh my god, I thought it was your tooth. I forgot. Uh, you. I forgot. My tooth just fell. Out. <laughs> <I forgot. laughs> That's like an Eric Andre show. <laughs> but yeah, this, this motherfucker would just be having like a cup of peas. Oh my god, lad. Just That's, anything. They're like, That's, I can get that. I want to get that age of an alky where, uh, you know, you're, people will be like, Are you drinking a And you'll be like, It's only beer. You know, like, what <laughs> <laughs> It's only yeah, beer, beer, man. It's, only f it's fucking Monday. Why not? Yeah, Honestly. Like, we called around in the morning. The guy had about fucking 15 super buck in him. <laughs> He's like, I'm sure so I want to get started like a dog. I'll move on to the real, the Did, real drink. If you want to see like the amount of alcoholics in your town working on off license for like just a week, mm. and I'll be the same people on every day. Just like I'm just treating myself today. Uh, it's like three bottles of white lightning. They like they'll do it every day. I know that oh, that like three bottles of wine for a tenner offer that was going around. <laughs> that was see, like, that was a classic in my family. <laughs> really, you know? yeah. The, the way people would pop into the shop for milk and bread, <laughs> three bottles my of wine for like, a tenner. Get six bottles for twenty quid. <laughs> And fucking, <laughs> what fags did my mind used to smoke? Lambert Butler Gold. Oh my God. It'd be like smoking a tea bag. I did steal them, you know, I couldn't complain. I used to smoke, like, they might, might have been those. It was like real old man cigarettes. And I used to just smoke in my room, like when I was like 16, and just smoke out the window and watch South Park. And I thought it was the coolest shit ever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, was, it was not. Me and Maureen discussed that one time, like if, if, when we both used to smoke actual cigarettes and yeah. you know back in the early days you'd be in some shithole house in Belfast and you're smoking oh. in bed and you're oh. smoking in bed like you're going I'm either absolutely king in it yeah 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 or smoking I, I'm an absolute low life scum dude I used to have a toaster plugged in beside my bed <laughs> not, not to make toast to like cigarettes like because I didn't have a lighter <laughs> it's like I'll just use this I'll use our communal toaster to light cigarettes <laughs> Fucking, it was fucking grim, lad. <laughs> oh my god, that was brutal. Someone fucking need a bit of toast the next day. <laughs> Marble lights. Oh, so you used to just fucking sit there. For, I used I mean, to wake up, make a rolly, and just light it on the toaster, and then just chill in bed, and that was it. That is in your in your family home. No, in my uni house. In your uni house. Yeah, oh, fuck, I'd be killed. My mom, I used to just stuff like open the window, and the wee in lay of the window, I used to leave all the cigarettes there, and there was about a thousand of them one day. My just opened the window, and was like, what the fuck. Like, I, I mean, I, I remember in the early days of smoking, thinking that I could go for a shower and open the window and sneak yeah, a smoke yeah, out yeah, the window yeah. and cl ob like, obviously it stank. Oh, yeah. You come in and be like, it smells like Lynx Africa and fags. Yeah. <laughs> like, Lynx <laughs> Africa never works. It's like, it just smells like that plus whatever else you're doing. <laughs> also, Africa's big. What do we smell like? <laughs> you know what I mean? It smell like Cape Town or Sudan. What do we smell like? Is that starvation? Too bad. Too high. Is that starvation or fucking white privilege? What are we talking about? Starvation by fucking Coco Chanel. Coco, yeah, that would buy that. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot to do this. Uh, this is for, this is, now you've got two working feet. I got you again. No, you fucking didn't. I'm fucking dead, you bastard. Fuck up. I can't grab it. Are you, are you in the sketchers medically? Uh, I, uh, from a financial standpoint, it's, ne it's a necessity. Fuck off. You got me a pair of vans, lad. This is, uh, this is uh, to celebrate your new work on feet. Bit of ankle support, Mate. lad. No fucking ways. Oh, with you the got flames. flames on him, bro. <laughs> Nile. You seen this? 
In th- is he saying it? Are we allowed to talk to now? In th- yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. What? Quit touching yourself over there, fuck <laughs> sake. I'm talking to you. It's a, ba- it's a bad luck to put shoes on the table. Is it? Don't put them both on at the same time. Jesus Christ, we'll burn down. <laughs> there we are. Where's the camera? The f- where's the camera? Yeah, Everywhere. That is fucking we got unreal, full coverage. Man. There you go. Bit of angle support. My he ma, fucks him on the ground. My <laughs> ma, my ma will fucking love you. She's been trying to get me to buy a new pair of shoes for ages. She'll be setting her own feet with hammers. <laughs> <laughs> He's dashing out snakes, is he? <laughs> That's I call that, that fits in with a look. I thought that was good. That was I good. no, I love that because I have a pair of you have some the, kind of shoes you with have flames the, on them. The Guy Fieri, like yeah, you, like, the proper fl- flames. flame grilled ones. I showed them to him one time, and he just looked at me like with such disgust. He was like, "The fuck, he would never wear that." But of I like course, them. I, he never mind him. He <laughs> dressed like a fucking geography teacher. <laughs> The me? I said it. I said it. I, huh? lo- I, lo- I genuinely love that. Thank you very much. No worries. They're class. I like them too. I was going to buy the low ones. There's a low yeah, pair and yeah, they're yeah. white with a green flame, but I don't know if that oh, would fit, fit the aesthetic. That's more of a McCann shoe. The aesthetic. Yeah. The ass. Speaking of, speaking of aesthetics, um, it was a big deal when you were gay then. Huh? Do you remember? Or just all of a sudden. I, it was. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. Is that, is that all was you? that a big deal with you? Uh, no. Or was uh, it shocking? Sh- just. Well, this is how it should be. No one really thinks about anyone's sexuality. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's the way I kind of wanted it. I was like, this is just going to be a very smooth launch. Do you know what I mean? I what, wasn't, wasn't was going to be like, everyone in a shop. Well, it was, you know, the way McCartney would break news to you. Like, he was like, like, Jamie McCartney's gay. And I, went, <laughs> and I went, is he? I didn't know that. And he goes, well, his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. I, my first girlfriend had a cock. That really, <laughs> that was the first sane lad. <laughs> Oh fuck! How, and, and how many uh, comedians are like? So what? What sort of fell into? You? Hoping you'd be like, well, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to, the, I remember I was actually when I was chat when it, like I told a few ones. It just came up in conversation, and it was Jordy and William. I think William was sitting there. Maybe he wasn't. But anyway, Jordan. No, it was Jordan and Heather. And she was like, "Oh, I'm by." And Jordy was like, "I'm by too." And I was like, "Oh fuck! This isn't big news then." Should I, did I just out everybody on air? No, everyone's everyone's by. <laughs> everybody's you know fucking I mean? by. But it's a wee bit like it's when you see them we subcultures of people. You know, like I was saying this before, we drove past QCon or whatever was happening in the Queens. You know, where they're all dressed as Zelda and all that shit. Oh yeah. And I was like, I bet you they. And these are all fucking weirdo, smelly <laughs> bastards. And I was like, I bet you they're doing more fucking than anybody. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. And yeah, it's yeah. the same as the by fucking you know mess yeah, up. They're dude. just like, hey guys, can we all just agree here? No one's really shagging us for real. But, <laughs> but in amongst this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me be, what did Dave Chappelle say? Borrow a bit of friction from a friend? That, yeah, dude, that's like, the gays are like, they are, um, what's the word? I can't think of words. Um, they're unruly. There's like, it's just severe bucking. Yeah. 24 Because it's like. Gay dudes, like. Yeah. The yeah. way I see it, it's like, because like a guy and a girl have like kind of different kind of approaches to sex. Where yeah. And like. A guy would be like, oh, I want to buck all the time. And yeah. the girl would be like, maybe not so much. Yeah. But then when you get two guys, they're just always up for buck. And it's just <laughs> insane. Like, just half the gut side part fucking your mouth. <laughs> covered in plasm. Covered in spunk. <laughs> yeah. It's literally fucking not. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you got to watch yourself. I don't know. G- girls can turn that thing off. You know, where they're like, I'm not feeling it. You're annoying me. Yeah. I, I can I can mentally shut my body down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. be like, I don't need. It. Whereas the fella is keep getting that biological fucking the urge to you know the reproduce ta- the tank is filling yeah 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 by the second <laughs> so even if it felt you know there's a couple and they're in like a like a ride with each other uh, the, like, well, we just the, the, the guy out. the guy's still going like well you're gonna need the bus soon you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah. you know I, I know you can't hold this against me for fucking <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the rest of the week yeah that's always the way you always go for the ride and then after you're like fuck, that was that was never fuck that but that was pointless and then two days later you're like that's Buck again. <laughs> <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Sorry, this nicotine is fucking me up. <laughs> the guy's truth serum. The guy's oh. fucking. Oh, what have I just said? Like? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what, are they, that? what are these gay pouches? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking drugged me with a gay pouch. I've always God, said. I was, I've been bamboozled again. Also, I, you know, there, there's two There's two types of fellas walk around like lumberjacks or, you know, sort of american truckers oh man and they're like, either they're either like you know ultra butch you know fucking mm-hmm. or or you're gay and it both makes sense oh yeah 100 percent. the the lumberjack slash trucker aesthetic is rampant amongst like a certain subsect of gays they'll like do they'll like base their entire life around that aesthetic like red and black checkers and yeah. fucking red wing boots and all. yeah wooden shit big beard hat. guys never chopped a log in his life <laughs> literally i don't know what it is but it, it chopped works. a few logs of his ass <laughs> 
Chopping logs? Chopping logs. Did, did you ever see that guy? He was on, always on TikTok and he's this kind of like hot dude. And he was just ch- chopping giant logs. And, and <laughs> oh. girls would do all these stitches with a video, you know, being yeah, like, oh my God. Because he, he fucking slaps it down. He's like, come on, girl. Fucking shirtless. Like, yeah, but he's being all... He's being all... Was he like, uh, like sexualizing the log? Yeah, but he... Like, I'm going to no, chop you in half, But he'll just... Uh, yeah, he's, but he'll say, he'll just say wee things. Like, he'd be like, oh, she's a big girl. Or oh. something, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, let's see if we can split this big one in half. <laughs> what the... Fuck man, that's yeah, this, and this one's gonna. That's need, This one's gonna need a bit of extra fucking, <laughs> bit of extra effort. And he's like, on a son of a ah, bitch. And then he's all out of breath when he's done. He's like, yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. And these girls are on the other side of the screen, just being like, oh my god. Do you know what? Like, it's so weird because like, that is totally acceptable to make that kind of video because that blew the fuck up out of your channel, like, oh, just yeah. to a certain group the, of people. The, the they just start selling shit. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, like thirst trappy dudes now. Oh when yeah. It, it used what? to just be all girls jiggling their tits. But now it's like fucking there's that dude who's like and he and he, the fuck he, No yeah but the guy'll fucking, you know, be in a rooftop restaurant in Dubai and someone will hand him like a burger and he'd be like oh, And he yeah. bites it like this. <laughs> And you're like, man, that's so unnecessary. <laughs> that's be like, that's when past sexy to just yeah, like, the fuck like, you doing? What man? is that like? But it seems to work for some people. It, it does. You know, you got a six pack and you want to eat a eat a burger, eat a like burger on a roof, eating someone's ass out. <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of. I'm getting. A lot, I'm, I'm watching mainly gay stuff. As <laughs> yeah. as well, I'm you. <laughs> and there's just a lot of dudes being oh, sexy. That, that there, the whole fucking like gay Instagram <laughs> is just. Um, is that separate up? It's like, once, once you're introduced to it, it just becomes like it, G I G. G I G. It just overtakes their Instagram, dude. And it's just that. It's just no matter what they're doing, they'll also like every third post just have like a shirtless yeah fucking post, but it blows their page up. Like there's so many wee hacks. Like the internet's yeah. a mess at the minute. I've seen, you know, you see a girl who, and I've seen the girl version of it first, where she's the all the all she does is put on her clo- her outfit for that day and show it off. But it always starts with her like holding a top and she's wearing like a bra and a thong, but there's a mirror behind her so oh, you can see yeah. the fucking, you see the cheeks see on the show. And then she puts clothes on and she's like, this is for my sauce and this is for fucking Zara, whatever. Yeah. And then there's like a dude version of that where he's wearing those like unnecessary fucking, uh, you know, like Calvin's where you can see the helmet coming through <laughs> yeah. the thing. And he's like, he's got these jeans and you're just like, bro, we don't, no one gives a fuck about the jeans. <laughs> Get the car clean out there. Oh, lad, I can never be a Calvin Klein model. Like, no, no, no underwear, <laughs> underwear model. Like, for sure. Like, my flaccid is just it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't boot well in underwear. Like, my flaccid. I would have to get like three quarters of a job on to be like, no, this is totally it all the time. But I, I, I think I think most people do that. Surely. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah for uh, sure. Uh, like, hundred uh, percent. Like, there's a there's a famous. Uh, porn star fe- guy black dude absolute pipe on him <laughs> but he's he's one of the like see with podcasts like uh no or not what do you call that other one plug talking all, all these like the main guests are like porn stars yeah they've yeah. nearly broken through and that's like, that's a f- i've seen that yeah like yeah. so porn stars will be just that's so normal now they'll be a guest in yeah. the podcast and people are like that's fucking awesome but this dude also on tiktok has about three million followers really but he, you know what i mean it's like he's like oh, what's up guys today we're making pancakes and you're like you have a fully erect penis <laughs> Oh, do you know like, what I mean it's like fucking and he's wearing like a pair of running shorts and like Nike oh, or something like, and it's just like hog out there and you're like bro you dude know. Ga- gay guys will put like so many posts like that they'll be like I just made this way you think or whatever like their hobby is but the picture is them holding it with like a, like a clear what looks like an erect penis in their jeans yeah and like as if that's not the point of the post oh man I wish I could do any some sort of that that is a wee hack like that's it Get on, we'll get on the rides and start doing setups on yeah. the roof. And get those fucking uh, deck vase. Yeah, oh yeah. And then just be like, guys, playing the telegraph bill. <laughs> <laughs> Would but you ever do rides? Uh, yeah, pr- no, yeah. I, I used to not really. Uh, I used to be sort of indifferent about it, and I'm like, oh why? I think, I think when I'm in like my mid thirties, I'm definitely gonna do like TRT or something. Well, that's that's what I was thinking. I would definitely do like testosterone. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, why not? You look fucking. You look jacked. You'll feel class. You do have to do the work on I too, but it, oh, I, yeah. I think what it gives you is the energy. Gives you the energy, yeah. But yeah. I think I would be just, I would have, an, I'd be having wet dreams while I was awake. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking, dude, you would be huge, like, you would be fucking massive. <laughs> I think if I, physically, not, not your cock, like, <laughs> yeah, the cock's gone, the cock's gone, <laughs> big heavy testosterone bag, but absolutely, well, it's not being on the test, it's coming off it. That's yeah, so like, it's like, you're gonna have to stay on this your whole life, or 
you're gonna if you come off it, you're gonna have to do a whole host of other shit to I, get your body producing test again. I don't know if I need steroids. I think I just if I lost about three stone, I'd be good. You think that would uh, that'd be yeah. sweet? Like I have a lot of I have a lot of wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I'm, you know what I mean. I'm not the fattest cunt of all time. Yeah, there's excess fat. Yeah, but then I am like so heavy. Right, okay. So it's got to be something. You've got to be lifting shocking weight, surely. I can. You can, yeah. And I don't even lift that regularly. But, like, you know, I'll do, like, people will be in the gym and be like, oh, man, I finally benched 100K. And you're like, I could, I, I, could, I could do 100K when I was about 13. Yeah, and I'm not yeah, joking. Yeah. You know, like, no, I believe it. Just things like that, but I don't work out right. I should. Yeah. And I should drop about three stone. I'd look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Literally. But I won't. Legitimately. Legitimately. Legit. I just made up a word. We're in the, you see, this is the problem. You're a comedian. Like, I, I was trying to talk about this with Aaron yesterday. The disrespect comedians have for to, for showbiz. Yeah, right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't be anything else and just turn up in your sweatpants drunk and be like, this is, this is a story about my dick. People almost <laughs> like it's that. So, it's so disrespectful. I feel like if you showed up completely jacked to a comedy show with, like, a really tight tee, you're going to get judged a bit on stage. Like, you better be funny quick. Yeah. Is, or maybe, I think it's the lines are blurring nowadays, but it used to be like, Do you know you who that guy be- Matt, Matt Reif is? Oh, hi. Did you ever see him? Rev. He's fucking gorgeous, man. Right, okay. I'll show you, he's fucking... Like, up, even, I, even I look at him and I'm like, bro, if his hair was a bit longer, <laughs> he'd be getting fucking piped. Is that his name? Matt, Mark Reif? Matt, Matt, yeah, Matt Reif. Matt Reif. You guys all know this guy. Is he, is he I, that? I, 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 oh, I, fuck, I, the comedian, yeah. I, he's embraced it so hard. He's like, I'm good looking. He's, I mean, he's beyond chiseled. He's like, yeah, it's like you look kind of weird now. That's kind of scary. Like, he'd be a good joker. He's got, like, intense... Job owns. almost like the war. I mean, that dude is that guy's AI. Uh, yeah, that's fucked. That he, he was created in a gay laboratory, like <laughs> for sure. <that. laughs> you know Monsters twink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one hundred percent. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, but he's embraced it, and that's why it works. He's like, I'm fucking far better looking than y'all. Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm embrace it. Painfully sexy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a there's a thin line between. You're just, you're on the borderline of starting to look weird. Yeah, you start look like, see that? It's almost like you're too, you start looking like fucking porcelain or some shit. Yeah, like the guy looks like he's never shit. I mean, he's bodied up too, man. Look at that. <laughs> he's fucking bodied up as well. Who's he with there? Like, no matter, who's that? Is that I that can't even, is, is there a, someone in that picture with him? I just see a hand. Kate Beckinsale. Fucking hell. You're like, fuck off, you I bet you're batting well with your <laughs> average there. <laughs> You need to fucking. You're more of a Pete Davidson fucking. <laughs> Man, he's like clearing the fuck. He's redding up, isn't he, Pete Davidson? Oh, it's bec- he's the new fashion accessory. I think that's what it is. Like the I, girl, they I, just want to be like, you're like my humbug type of thing. I genuinely think you know they go into meetings with agents and they're just, they're just like start ringing f- people up. Like, can we book such and such in to fuck uh, Pete Davidson this week? And they're like, yeah, what three o'clock on a Tuesday? No, no worries, we'll send him in. And he just sits there fucking. Yeah, yeah, he's like, ho- like he's Hollywood's fucking. They'll just like trail him in, and he's like, I can't fuck anymore. Please stop. Like, more, no, more. Pete. That's why he looks so gaunt. Yeah, he's fucking jizzed just out. Drained, <laughs> like. <laughs> he needs a fucking what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> fucking vitamin drips. <laughs> just to just keep between him alive. fucks, like just betwixt fucking, betwixt fucking. His his special's called OnlyFans. Oh, nice, nice. Man, he's too sexy. Who's the, who's the hot? I mean, now that you know this guy, who's the hottest comedian? Oh, fuck. I don't know. In the world, not just in this room. In the world, fuck. I really don't. I don't know. Like, he's classically hot. Like, yeah, he's very, yeah. Like, even if you weren't attracted to him, you could tell he was an attractive person. Like, do you know what I mean? I can tell. Sometimes I get annoyed, like, you know, talking to Maureen or any other women, you know. <laughs> Some, talking to women in general. There's a weird thing. <laughs> there's a weird thing when they go, like, oh, that guy's so hot. And, so, and as a straight guy, you go, shut up. You yeah. fucking would know how, and then some of them would go, ah, he is hot. I know, I've thought about that, right? So, <coughs> if like, Ugh. if, uh, okay, I can't remember my theory, but, um, so I read, so right, girls will look, I think girls can see like guys and be like, there's like, they're hot, or I would, oh, whatever, I would fuck them. But like, say a guy, or like, a guy looking at a gay dude saying who they think is hot, like, they would, they would like, They'd be like, I'd fuck that guy. And they'd be like, a like straight guy. I'd be like, why the fuck would you fuck that guy? Do you know what I mean? But I can't explain it. Man. Oh, I know what you mean. Like a Do you f- know what I mean? Like, there's so many. There's the guy, difference like a, between, like, 
I would go out with them or I would just fuck them. Like, you, like would you not fuck, like... Well, everyone. Everyone, do you know what I mean? But then a, a gay guy looking at, like, maybe some girls you're fucking, they would go, why would you... I didn't think you'd be attracted to her type of thing. That's what I mean. Like, some, you know, like, someone will go, like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I, the worst explanation. Like, sorry. Russell Brand is so hot or something. And you go, like, no, shut up. Yeah. And, I, then, and then there's, like, I think it's, I think it's mainly, like, when they're more, like, uh... When, or if, you know if someone, what it is? It's when the the guy kind of respects the guy. You know what I yeah, mean? So yeah, someone okay. someone will be like, "Oh, I like Tom Hardy's hot," and I go, "Ah, he is hot because you fucking because he's, he's good, fuck he's good like, lad. He's you know does jujitsu. So he's, he like likes dogs and all. You know he's good. He's good <laughs> yeah. guy. And I'm like fair play. And then they'll be like, "Oh my god, Harry Styles could just fucking buck my throat," and you're just like, "Shut up." Yeah, yeah, like it looks like a wee boy type thing. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, but then I think that's annoying. You know when girls talk about fellas when you're a straight guy, is when when it's like a like a fucking Harry Styles or something. Right, And okay. he's walking around like in his ma's fucking frock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, that does not, it that for them. not even like a real guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like borderline. <laughs> but they, they love that, like. Yeah, but a flamboyant fucking. They love, but the flamboyant does it. Like Prince probably never had a dry dick his whole career. Yeah. They were like, I watched Bowie's documentary. Ah. And there was women literally like fucking foaming at the gash in the audience. And him running around like a fucking brown bro, thong. Bro, I don't even like David Bowie that much. I don't get like. I get it. there's plenty of stuff I it's don't it's very like kind of theatrical and you're like that's cool as fuck yeah but see no, but without it if he just someone, came and started singing it would have been when somebody said Harry Styles is like the the new David Bowie or something I nearly kicked the fucking Sony yeah, off, yeah, the, yeah. off the wall I think he definitely wants to like kind of base his image around that kind of thing he wants to be like the flamboyant kind of fucking yeah androgynous is that queer baiting is that what they call it maybe I I don't know what is queer baiting Fuck, I don't know, man. Is that like? Is it like this guy when he's like, you know, so, you know, is that he'll play, he'll is that play, play to the gay crowd? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I play to the gay, the gay crowd. Why the f- play to whatever crowd? Fucking just paying your bills. I remember when there was some sort of thing going on politically in this country. Gay marriage. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what it was. Yeah. And like the fucking. That is legal here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could get like, you could get like civil p- partnership is that was called civil civil partnership but then they, yeah i think they went i know so all about everything they went <laughs> i swear <laughs> to god like, i'm, a white I'm belt, the worst lad white belt gay <laughs> like i am the worst that's the name so, of the podcast white belt gay, <laughs> i'm seriously bad like, but whenever that was on the news or I'm something bad. i remember lavery's had the fucking pride flags up like before dinner time oh yeah they're like, get they had it up and bright flag get up. that pink pound in here to fuck <laughs> yeah that brings in the crowd they see that and they go fucking Gays <laughs> or something, you know what I mean? Like that's us. <laughs> Who else is a hot comedian? I'm trying to think. Uh, who's your hottest comedian, male slash female? In terms of female, I think Annie Letterman's pretty fucking hot. She is hot. Yeah, but this is this is that fun game again where you go like, she's hot because she's a bit of a mess and it's kind of sexy. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. That's why she's hot. Right. Okay. She is pretty. Like she's very pretty. Yeah. Uh, she good, is good hot. delivery on her jokes as well. She like is a good, from, well, fine I'm, comedian. Yeah, fine comedian. Now. Uh I'm trying to think. We were talking about Ali Wong yesterday. She probably get. Oh yeah, she's that pregnant special, <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> yeah. That's how I know her. That pregnant woman. <laughs> that pregnant. She is just you, one constantly of them, pregnant in my mind. One of them women that get pregnant. You can't say that anymore. <laughs> you have to say a person who person gets pregnant. A, yeah, uterus barren person. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast there. <laughs> I, all my TikTok is, you know, it's the gay, the queer baiting, the girls with the big tits doing like pottery or something. Yeah, yeah, this I, is fucking. They're just, they're, yeah, they're doing anything. The girls like, oh, I, my hobby is, you know, I use a kangaroo hammer on, on the road. Just, uh, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> just tits flying all over. But that's that's the fucking thing. You can like, no matter what the fuck you do, no, if you make it into a TikTok page, it could like, it'll be clear. Like people will love it. Well, I like, I'm a vet. Here's I, my TikTok. Yeah, but I always said hobby, you know, DIY hobby plus. Big milkers equals sloppy lot. purples. You're in sloppy purples. Sloppy purples, lot. <laughs> Where did you learn that phrase? I don't even know. <laughs> My mind. Back in the pretend to be straight things. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna have sloppy purples, lot. Dude, pretend to be straight is the worst, lad. Yeah, no. It's so bad. Now tell me about it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> just that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably embarrassing. Just sitting around with a bunch of dudes being like. Oh, and then you think back to like them talking about women, and you're like, "Fuck yeah, they're so hot!" And you're just like, "Oh my god, that was crazy!" Like, like, <laughs> like, like, like fucking forty year old yeah, bags of sand, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, like bags purple, of sand, like purple bags of sand. Oh, that's so good. Like, 
Have you ever had sex? <laughs> Hot comedians. Yes. There's probably a poll. We'll break them down. Oh, yeah. I forgot about fucking Whitney. Oh, she, fuck it. Whitney Cummins? Cummins. She's, she's plastic surgery gone right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, she's hot. Who's this? Natasha Leggero. Oh, fuck, I love her. She's so she's, good, yeah. She's cute now. Um, she's funny AF. Uh, who else is hot? Squared. Squared. What else? What else? Paul Smith. Right. Paul Smith. From Hot Water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute right. Um, Sorry, James I didn't laugh so hard there. Uh, do you know what? The game's over. This guy. Oh, fuck Dan Tiernan. Tiernan, lad. Tiernan, lad. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, man. He was at the French. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. Still, he's like killing it right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing well. What's he got? He's got something. <laughs> he's gay, lad. He's got the burger or something? What's he got? Has he? I don't know. He's got one of them. One of the HDs. The f- uh, William talking about it yesterday, pure like, ass burgers. <laughs> ass said, dash burgers. I, like, it said ass and then paused. And then burgers. <laughs> Who said that? They were like, that's like... You just add too many fuck. You're just farting. It sounds like another word for fart. Yeah, oh, I've got a wild dose of the ass. The ass burgers. Uh, Jesus. Cameron es- Esposito. No. Uh, Lily Singh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your hottest male comedian? Because there's some clear. There's some clear hot. Do you think? Do you think? Uh, I suppose it's like looking jacked. You can like be funny and be jacked now. So like, girl comedians can be like super hot and hilarious. Where it used to be like, if they were too hot, you said that like they just like legalized it. Yeah, it's Apart- a new fucking after twenty twenty. You can update. be hot and funny. <laughs> That's just them. That's say no. <laughs> I'm about- talking shit. I don't know what they were about. talking about that on I think uh, it was Burke Kreischer talking to Tim Dillon or something. Right. Yeah. And he said like it used to be a bit of a curse for hot girls in comedy. Yeah. That they'd they'd get swept up and pushed along their career too far. Yeah, yeah. Because, be because too of big, their, too quick. Because yes, they're hot. Like, so they'll be like, "You're hot. You get this spot. You get this spot." And then all of a sudden, they're like, "Do you want to do like a Netflix special?" And they've only got like twenty minutes. Yeah, and that's rough. I'd be so afraid. Like, yeah, like that's what happened to my career. You do you know, think so? People were just like, "I think you d- you're, definitely you're, double the well." You're too attractive. You got, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're getting <laughs> you're way more. You're than simply you, too hot. Come on, shit. Can I have another nicotine patch? Or was that yeah, too many? Where'd it go? They collapsed. Where are they? Oh, they're there. They're there. It's having too too many. No, uh, I I think um, in, in my career, I think uh, two's not too many. <laughs> You'll know when it's too many. Uh, I, I think because I had those videos out at the time, I just had to do like twenty minute sets from the word go. Yeah, that my, must my, be terrifying. My, like. Well, I, I didn't know any different. Mm, okay, but, but my first gig was I, I looked at my clock and it was like twenty two minutes. Yeah, lad. sure. Lad. Even like. When me and McCartney started making videos, and then off the back of the videos, we were get, getting gigs left, right, and center from the start. That fucking freaked me out. I was like, I don't fucking deserve a fucking gig. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't deserve a gig. <laughs> I've got like two jokes. Which is a funny mindset to have because it comes running around now just being like, when do I get the headline lambies? Yeah, dude, I know. You haven't had an open spot yet? <laughs> oh. hey, yeah, I couldn't have done that at the start. It freaked me out. You should be terrified. Yeah. You should be scared as fuck. You shouldn't be like, man, bring it on. SSE next yeah, September. Yeah, fucking no way. Like, Oh my God, I'm going to go through the wee stingy period of this nicotine patch here. Oh, it's a stingy. <laughs> How was Amsterdam? Amsterdam was fucking good. Because you were over there making sketches. I did want to insert this part. You have one of the best, maybe the best sketch I've ever seen in my life. Which one's that? The brothel one. Oh, yeah. I've never seen a better, like a, oh my days. Did you take another one as well? Yeah. Oh, we're fucking filling I've never, I, I don't think I've seen a, a more perfect sketch did you know what the weird thing about that was like the video was me getting shot in the face with jizz that was my wee sister shit i was like <laughs> okay you pretend to shoot me in the face with jizz she's like okay what's jizz and you're like whatever <laughs> let's take us mayonnaise oh and- she knows what it is oh sorry, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh she knows <laughs> but yeah i love that fucking sketch and that was my goal i was like i'm gonna re- replicate loads of sketches like that and then all i could think about was getting shot in the face with jizz every single time and i was like I can't nothing wait. funnier that's your sure, thing maybe i should just do that every single time i love a vomit oh yeah like a do, do you know like i don't think i could make anything without a violent b- boke in it dude i remember one of your first videos that <sighs> i ever seen like it was after by the blender then i went on a deep dive of your fucking youtube uh, and uh one of the videos was you was watching two girls one cup like you and your roommates and it was just you right. with a bucket being like, oh, like yeah. spoken violently the whole way through it. I thought it was great. I actually fucking worked with one of your roommates. Do you know he tiny boy? Chris? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I'm going through it right now with this nigga. Yeah, do me Draw too. one now. Get it in you, son. Get it up, yeah. Why? Yeah, so I ended up working with Chris. Nice. He's like, I'm Colin's roommate. And I was like, fucking what? Yeah, I live with a, just a real strange bunch of dudes. Yeah. And you know, like, there was me, Chris, that guy, another guy, Dave, who had the, effect, the guitar pedal we were talking about a minute ago. Yeah. One guy who very dramatically came out to everybody, and it was in, in the <laughs> middle. fucking gay. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't even that. It was like uh, they were like, "Do you wanna?" This is in the middle of like course. You know when you're like I submit course work on the first thing <laughs> yeah. in the morning. It's like, it's like bothering you. It's like, like, can you tell me this? And they're fucking like, later. Like, no, they were like, um, I'll not say his name. James, right? They're like James. <laughs> would like to speak with everybody oh dude i try to kitchen. avoid that and, so I, and hard, I go like, in and they're like it's like the thing you guys should know that i'm actually gay and i and i, I, I literally just like <laughs> like bro i'm just trying like, to do fuck i just went straight back to the thing i was like i don't give a fuck i don't like you're no one talks to you anyway i like it's gonna make me like you lad <laughs> fuck you lad. I, I still hate you <laughs> no it wasn't even that it was just it was just like <laughs> Fantastic! Dude, I, I, te- I avoided that hard. I was just like, oh, should probably tell that person. Just texted them, and then that was it. I just texted every- like anybody I needed to tell. I was like, I want to get this out of the way. Just texted. By the way, and that was it. I could not do the confrontation. Sit down, cry, fucking. And what, everyone, what everyone f- thinks you yeah. want that as well. Yeah, they're like, oh, we have a chat, and you're like, no, no, <laughs> it's not. Um, like your parents are like, should we talk? You're like, what? What do you want me to say? Like, do you want me to go into detail? But <laughs> what the fuck? Like, <laughs> this is you don't want to have this conversation. Like, do you remember Shirley? At the, at the <laughs> yeah. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's just a bit. It's just a bit of excitement in an RV comedy world. It is. Yeah, I can imagine it. It's a, it's a bit of a story. Like it's a fucking thing that happened. You're like, oh, well, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I expected that too. It's like it's going to be a bit of a chat point. But then it's you know it's just like any any other thing. And then when it, it just, blows over, I'm like. Guys, I'm still gay. They're like, whatever. And I'm like, fuck, it yeah. doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it doesn't have an effect. Come back to me when you're non-binary. <laughs> yeah. No one gives a shit anymore. No, it's coming. <laughs> what, th- what are your thoughts on the, the mad gender things going around? At the moment? Um, fuck, man. I'm I'm just like, fucking do whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? I, I think you just do whatever. But if, if you're getting like really mad at people, mm, it's like, just chill out. Like. I feel when it's... When you get to the activist level of it, yeah, if you're like, it's like you've nothing better to do. Like yeah, your, your your sexuality shouldn't be the the forefront of your personality. Yeah, exactly. I think like let's just say you happen to be whatever, and like say you're a comedian, just gonna be funny as fuck, and that'll speak for that fucking cause itself mm-hmm. instead of making the whole point of everything you do. <laughs> I love yeah. whatever. Uh, I think we talked about it on something else there, but the that fucking famous like makeup trans girl who was like. There's no such thing as non-binary. They're like people were bored during fucking lockdown, oh, and they were shit. like just making shit up. That's, and then this yeah. is like a fu- and then and then he, I keep he's, once again mixing up the genders. It's a, a he, she was even going like, no, I'm a fucking dude dressed as a girl. Let's not fuck right, about here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. This non-binary fucking, thing's bullshit. You know, I like dressed like a girl. It's such a fucking hot button topic at the minute that, like, I don't know, yeah. Like you have to just, you just have to be so careful the way you approach it. Like no, like not in this podcast. <laughs> we're going in. We're going in. I, you know, if anyone's riding for a bloody, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm just like get freaky, get weird. Like you know, there's no point in some some fucking straight dude being like, hey, these ones are out here fucking pecking each other to death, like, and then go back and your wife hates you. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. Well, who you fucking lad? Who you fucking, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lad? What's your numbers, lad? <laughs> What's your body count like? <laughs> Steven? That's, that's fucking Steve. That's a whole fucking thing in TikTok now. It's like, what's your body count? Just asking people in the street, isn't it? Did you ever see them? Videos? I, I hate those fucking I know, videos. it's like... And I've seen... I, it's so awkward, like... you know what the saddest one is? I've seen... Now, I, I have I have thought about doing this as a sketch, as a full piss take. <laughs> but I've seen people f- fake it because I watched it and I was like, I know who those people are. What do you mean? Like, I've seen a girl in America, or like in New York, and I was like, I know she's a comedian. And then the three girls that she interviewed, I was like, I know the other one, she's a comedian. Yeah, they're all part of the squad. Yeah, like, so they walk up and be like, you know, do you shave your bush? And she's like, oh, fucking once a, every September or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all kind of loaded. Yeah, yeah, because people don't admit that shit. Like, in Amsterdam, we were running around trying to get people, to, like, asking them filthy questions. Like, people were like, get the fuck away from me. Like, Yeah, because <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of actually seedy. So people are going, they're like, I am actually here. Yeah, they're like, can you something. not put me on camera right now? Nobody knows I'm here. Did you, did you go to any weird shows over there? <laughs> we went to go to the sex show, but it was like 40 quid in, so we didn't. But we, so we, did, we just kind of dandered around the red light district, just looking at fucking well you get what you pay for you know what i mean if you were looking for one for like 15 euro yeah yeah, be yeah. sad <laughs> yeah i'd be like yeah no i was uh, from everyone i asked cause i was like just leaning in all the rooms be like just to 
shout to him. I was like, well, what's the price? She's like, 50 for blowjob and 100 for full for price. A, for a soft for a full job, thing. I but there's dudes coming in out there all night. Like, I feel, literally, I, I feel <laughs> like uh, it should be, I feel like getting your dick sucked by a stranger should be more than 50. Yeah, like that's a fucking, that's a personal. 50, yeah. That's a fucking personal thing. I'd be like, fuck me in the ass, 50. <laughs> fuck, me fuck, me, fuck me in the mouth 1500 pound yeah like i don't know where that dick has been by the way that's not my prices but if it was, if it was <laughs> just in case you are wondering <laughs> but then knock a couple out in, the, for. in an evening you know <laughs> yeah. i'll be like uh, make a load pay oh there's bound to be some stinky dicks going around amsterdam well, well you, you were talking to me about dicks <laughs> you were talking to me about your stinking dick <laughs> you were like you wouldn't stop talking about dicks when i came in here and um we were we almost reached a an interesting talking point like you know when do you think it's going to be like you can just walk into a doctor and be like, this is the type of dick I want. No? Do you think so? Like like for like a regular guy, be like, do this to my dick. Do you remember I used to have material about the, the trans person transitioning and they... I want the biggest, blackest cock. Yeah, the guy yeah. was the guy had a fucking, you know, like laminated ring binder. He was That's like, that's unfair, yeah, because they can they, want to get spectacular cocks and the rest of us are sitting here. From with, the word go, they're... <laughs> Yeah, my joke was like you don't get it, you need a learner dick. <laughs> yeah, you, you need get like a wee shitty dick for a minute. <laughs> we fucking what did you say, like Mary Berry's finger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally lad. That was a banger. That, that joke, was good. That's that stuck on my lad. That's a banger. Um But yeah, yeah, probably pretty pretty soon, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, just we'll walk in and be like, I want fucking Bluetooth in this bitch. <laughs> 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 you know I mean? Can I have Alexa in my cock? <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, erection, please. Full master. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but yeah, and, then, and play Jason Derulo. I think as handy as it would be to just be able to voice command a full log of a cock. Oh, that'd be fun. It'd be great to just make it go away for a minute. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just like bring it up and down. You go like, no, make it, like you go to a jiu-jitsu class and you're like, Alexa, <laughs> retract cock and it just fucking <laughs> retract bollocks. Retractable bollocks would be the best. Retractable. Well, I, I did a ice bath this morning i haven't seen my dick and balls since like swear to god like, <laughs> fucking hell i was like i'll try an ice box i woke up this morning so fucking wrecked i'm at the gym the past few days and i was like when you text me this morning i was like fucking i was like i'll do it but i was in no shape to talk at that point so i just jumped in a freezing bath it helped and uh, brought me alive the bath was in your house yeah see if you just fill up your bath yeah. people, you don't even need ice no it's you cold. fill up a cold bath that's cold as fuck i have done that myself yeah I've and I, I would do it sometimes, like when Eddie was a bit younger, and you would just be, you would literally be running on fumes. Yeah. You'd be you're like, I just slept. Don't come in the bath. Shut up. No, not him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I've had twelve minutes sleep in the last forty eight hours, yeah, oh, and I'd have to go to Lavery's, and I would let you just fill the bath and just get in it. Really? Yeah, that fucking works. Like it really. And then really he works. came in, like waddled in, thinking, "Fuck, kind of spicy." Like, uh, dude, I know. <laughs> and he thought he was helping. He was trying to wash. He's like flicking <laughs> water on me, and I was like, oh, <laughs> "Not my neck. I'm not ready for the neck." Yep. <laughs> Yeah, because like you get in and once you sit for like two minutes, you can't feel anything anyway. It's the initial like, yeah. But then it just goes away. But if you move like a millimeter, it's like, oh, freezing. Yeah. Sound effects sound like a came there. Oh, Didn't it? I, uh, like if I was getting in the sea, uh, my granny told me this years ago when I went to the sea, she's like, splash the water in the back of your head to like uh, get it out of the, you know. Right, okay. To, to get that like, oh, so I would just fucking scoop the water up and go, oh, all over my head. And, and you felt like that. Back of my neck and then I'd be like, oh, and you, you get that bit out of the way and then you just get in the sea. Just glide in, aye. It's the feet I can't. Oh, dude, I that's it, with a bath, I have to get in with the feet, stand for a minute, get out, so the stinging goes away and then I can get in. Because my feet sting like fucking cold. Yeah, water, my like. ankles, it's probably it's probably like a sign where you're like, <laughs> you've no you circulation or something. weak shit. ankles or something. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, yeah, I would get it. I would get in cold water and just be like, Ugh! but then you do. You see people go and see swimming, and they got the gloves and the boots and the fucking hat and everything. Yeah, you're like, that's not the same thing, lad. Wetsuits are good though. That, that time you went coast air, and I was like, fuck me, these work. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! I bought a really good wetsuit, and you go in, and it just like you can't feel the water. It just feels like you feel like you feel something. like a slight like coldness around you, but it's yeah. not like on your bare skin. Oh, wetsuits are the shit. Like, do you coast air? We went. We went once, didn't we? Now. Oh, I. Oh, what? And I, I don't know whether, like, I jumped in the water once and I, I nearly knocked myself. Like, I floated back to the top and the world was just fucking yeah, going like this. And yeah. I was like, is, have I got vertigo? And I didn't know until I just jumped <laughs> in. The fuck. Yeah, no, we uh, we we went to, like, Pier Dave and Galway one time. And there was, like, three people in front of us. And then when it got to us, 
the last person jumped in and I was like, right, that's it. And then they came out of the water and their nose was pissing blood because of whatever, like the pressure or whatever. Oh, no. And it was the most terrifying thing to see right before you jump in the water. Someone coming out screaming, covered in blood. And you're like, right, you're next. And you're like, fuck me. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was fucking... <laughs> yeah. Just get a text. I'm Dude, like, I'm, I'm so afraid of the ocean, though. It's so am I, fucking but, so scary. So am I, but weirdly, when I get near, like if I if I was like lying in bed and started thinking about the sea, I'd yes, freak out. I'm the exact same. So I can be in it, and it's fine. And then later in bed, I'm like, fuck. What's gonna be your, a shark? What's your bird? Like, what's your biggest fear? Sharks. Yeah. Oh, lad. I could, like see if I go in the shower and close my eyes and think of a shark. I'm scared. Like, <laughs> I get scared. I've, like, I've done that a few times, like in a swimming pool when I was younger, like on holiday. You, you were, like, thought there were sharks like in the pool. Like you're just gonna dive in. There's gonna be great whites. Yeah, there, like, oh, lad. I think we all like live the same lives. I, that was the exact same as me when I was a kid. I, I used to be like be in the pool and there was like different colored tiles at the bottom. There's a whole red section. And I thought, right, don't go in the red section because there's jellyfish in there. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely afraid of like getting stung in the fucking kids pool in Marfelt. We, <laughs> we were. <laughs> <laughs> we were in uh, Vietnam Yeah In Hoi An And uh, oh. our mate Sean was like I went to this beach last time We'll go out here Took us to this beach And I w- walked into the sea And I was like Hey bro The water's stingy <laughs> this, this I was is- like I'm being I, I just feel little stings All over me yeah. And I was like What is this And he goes I don't know It's probably something Floating in the water and Stinging I, away at you And I was like I'm st- It's stingy everywhere Yeah man. no I don't like that My, my biggest fear is like uh, Getting trapped You know Like shit Shit people do for fun Where they're like what, what is that shit where you go like under oh, caves and oh, shit? Oh, fuck off of that. Like when they go in wee tiny holes and stuff, like fucking I, cramming themselves in. Like, n- number one, it ain't happening. No. Me. Like, it's not <laughs> happening. I can barely get through a doorway. You get to you the entrance, they're like, you need to stop here, lad. That's what happened. That, that happened to me in Vietnam. <laughs> we went to those Gucci tunnels and they were like, Gucci tunnels, lad. There <laughs> have been a few Gucci tunnels at that time. <laughs> but yeah, and they get the, the polite way to call you fat over there is like, these are both for Westerners. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Westerners. Fat cons. In brackets, fat Americans. <laughs> yeah. There was a sad bit in that vlog that I made where I, I who are we with? And I said, I think I said the morning, like, hold this camera. Because I, uh, there was a big American guy in front of us. And I was like, you know, there's no fucking way he's, this, this, this guy's massive. Like, <laughs> he's not getting in the, in the fucking tunnel. And I was like, hold the camera. And I was like, I'm going to walk up beside him and you can get like a side by side. And I walk up beside him and I'm like the same size. <laughs> You're like, but in, but in, the, in the video, I was like, it's the size of this cunt. And then sure enough, I came down the wee ladders and just like, put, like, put my body as small as I could get it. To, yeah. like, and it just every edge of my body hit the edge of the thing oh, and i was no. like i can't do this no, no like i physically can't do it i would hate that so much and then fucking there was one like australian solo traveler girl who just kind of tagged along with us yeah and she she and she couldn't look more irish either she was like blazing red hair yeah. and burnt and freckles over the shoe burnt stupid <laughs> and she's like yeah I can't. and then she had this horrific like cough like a chest infection it sounded like so she wouldn't stop coughing and then maureen actually went through the tunnel because she she did fit and then she, but she she just came out like traumatized like that girl was just in a tunnel with me coughing <laughs> ev- everywhere and she's like it's pretty hot in there like this. <laughs> and i was just standing outside <laughs> you know, fucking. when you were in vietnam did you smoke like fuck uh Oh, actually, I think I'd quit by then. But mm. uh, you could have done. You could have smoked for like 25p yeah. a day. I have this whole like vision at some point in my life. I just want to live in Vietnam for a month and just drink coffee and smoke cigarettes the whole time. Yeah, that's kind of nothing really else to do. Yeah, literally. Eat noodles and fucking... Uh, a new dress. Uh, and smoke. You'd like it? Mm. I, I've, I think I would love it. One of my dream scenarios is... And I feel, I feel like it'd be rude to do like a GoFundMe, but I, I'd love to get like... <laughs> What do you call that? Like a grant or something from some, f- and just be like, I'm gonna take a a group of comedians oh, to, to Vietnam and just do sick. like a fucking grand tour type thing. That'd be and I'd pay amazing. my mate Sean who lived there to do what he did for us, which is like six weeks traveling in about two weeks. No, oh, fuck yeah, and just go to all these different places because I I would just love to fuck it. Like McCann would be hilarious. Mickey would die. <laughs> Mickey would die. Like, do you know what I mean? It'd yeah, be funny on the It'd plane be, on the way there. Yeah, just, just from alcoholism, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crusted himself to death. <laughs> yeah. You actually I, reminded me of something that we actually attempted to do, me and my mate, like when we were both like super unemployed and had no money years ago. Nothing's changed for me. Um, Fuck we, yeah, bro, living that life. <laughs> we, uh, we were like, we need it. Because we went on the GoFundMe page and there's people like getting 20 grand for going on a spiritual journey around the world. People just giving them money. So we set up a GoFundMe page that we were going to, 
This was a bad idea, but hey, this is probably not ethical. We set up a cool foamy pad saying we were going to go study the red panda in fucking wherever they're from. I can't the, remember. The we Chinese s- takeaway, yeah, America? To, yeah. Go study the fucking the curry lad. And, uh, <laughs> I'm the curry lad. <laughs> I'm the curry boy. I don't know what accent that was. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got no money. We made a whole video as well about how we were going to explore and study the red panda. And I was like, mate, you realize if we go, we have to study the red panda. These people are going to be pissed. Like, he's like, ah, we'll, we'll figure it out when we're there. Just like. have one big document and say, it's not a panda. <laughs> yeah. It's like a wee cat. Yeah. You, you can get them in Belfast, you know so. What about uh, the Dalai Lama just tonguing that wee boy? Dude, what was that about? That's, bo- that's, pedo- that's pedophilia on like, they're just getting bold with it now. But I, you know, I was wondering. Uh, you know, is he? You know, he's obviously like celibate for life, and I wonder is he just such a weirdo that he doesn't know what he doesn't he, even realize that he doesn't weird. know. I, he's trying to be cute with a kid. He's like, suck my tongue. Why? I feel like that's probably what it was. I he's, would say so. Yeah, he's like, he's not like I'm gonna fucking tongue fuck this uh, child <laughs> for all these people, yeah. and I don't give a fuck. The kids like fucking <laughs> getting <laughs> whiplash going back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fucking hell I can't It's so weird I think I'd like to think That it's like innocent I think it was definitely Like you wouldn't be that Fucking Brazen about it That's what I'm saying The real elite pedo rings That operate in the dark Oh yeah You wouldn't You wouldn't get them Doing yeah, that you, like, do, you do it on your own island Is mm-hmm. what you do For sure For sure For sure For sure <laughs> For is, real For uh, real Is Epstein's island for sale Did I hear that somewhere Fuck yeah Probably Let me see Am I, like was Rogan not talking about setting up a studio in the island, like, buying the island, setting up a podcast studio on it? Yeah, him and Shane Gillis and all. Little Saint James. I mean, talk about like I mean the name talk itself. Talk about haunted, bro. Yeah, oh, fat places. The fucking, vibes would be hanging the out of it. Echoes of just. Do you that, ever go on like it's like a fake door and all? In it? Um, do you ever go deep uh, into conspiracy, like read accounts of what that was like being, for people who said that they were like trafficked there and shit? I've watched numerous documentaries with people talking about it's fucking mental. It is funny. Like I'm not a big conspiracy theorist person, but anything that's as weird as that, I'm into. <laughs> I'm into <it>. like <laughs> the amount of fucking like Jimmy Savile documentaries and Dude, podcasts I've listened to. Like I've listened to ones with like poli- you know like police whistleblowers who used to work in. I've listened to all that. Shit, and then man. you watch so many, and you're like, "What the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> what, am I, what am I watching this for?" It's a, it's the same reason you can't look away from like a car crash. You yeah, know it's, what I mean? just it's just curiosity, morbid like, curiosity. It's just fucked up. You wanna you wanna know what's going on? Like yeah. I was I was talking to Gordo, you know those conspiracy guys. Yeah, I was talking to Gordo, and he was. I'm doing a couple of episodes with him. Sick. And one of them's gonna be the Magdalene laundries. You know, they used to send all the. Sorry, did you, did you ever hear that? Or <laughs> no, I haven't heard that. No. So there was like a load of these like work fucking what do they call them? Workhouses or something? Where if you had like a a baby out of wedlock, they basically were just like you stinking witch, and they'd take the kid <laughs> and, and you'd go into this place that was essentially a jail. Yeah, and just be in there. Oh, forever. T- forever till they decided they maybe want to let you go. But um, Jesus. But things I said, I'll do the episode about that because. I'm fascinated by things where I'm like, I cannot fucking believe that that was a thing. Do you? To, into the 90s. Sir, like, my, like, even used to do, like, kind of some level of an early, like, if my auntie, when she had one of her wins, my granny sent her to a convent for, like, a year just to yep. have the win. Which yep. is like, she's like, I don't want nobody seeing you have a win, or, like, you're pregnant, but then also, like, everyone's gonna be like, where's your, I haven't seen your daughter in, like, a year, like, where the fuck she am any of those things where, like, the, you know, like, the church gets in the way of normal, you know what I mean? Like, normal shit. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they've no call to be yeah, even involved with. Like, like you, you take someone's, like, baby off, you might as, you might as well kill them. You know yeah, what I mean? Like you, people will lose their fucking mind. Like, like, I know, man. Brutal shit. But, yeah, um, yeah, that's why I'm obsessed with that, because you're just like, I can't. And the, the other thing blows my mind about that sort of shit is I feel like he was just like a wee the tip of the iceberg oh, you know what i mean just, just like a like, middleman fucking facilitating this and like getting a bit of dirt on like famous people and all and you're like who's behind that come for sure oh there's de- there's bound to be piles of islands they got or like oh, places sure. for sure like i'm sure does it look luscious and beautiful yes yeah it does <laughs> <sighs> epstein is he dead probably not and yeah, then, he's not then well, I don't know, but I mean, it's so it's so suspicious. Like, why why is your woman Maxwell in jail and no one really wants to talk about the, the all list. of the people? Yeah, like she's the first. Show me the list. She's the first person to go to jail for trafficking to no one or something like that because they don't have. She's like, why is she in jail? And if there's no client list, like, who does she traffic to? <sighs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I fucking mean? 
You know what I mean? Joe Byron. Biden was, at, Biden. Biden was in the country to see much is about he, that. Is he still here? Uh, no, he was in on night. Sure, he's away to Limerick listening to fucking Bewitched in the car. Oh, fuck yeah. That sounds, uh, sounds like a pretty Cunt doesn't know where he is. You know what I mean? <laughs> they just, put him anywhere to just, just fucking... Give that man an ice cream. He thought he was going... Yeah, he thought he was going for an ice cream. But he's <laughs> been taken on a fight. He's well, being trafficked right now. Yeah, he's being trafficked about the place. Was he not in... Uh, they took him to like a fucking, you know, like a Sandra deli and like, oh, yeah, I've <laughs> seen, yeah. seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Like, get a fucking special fucking baguette, cheese, ham, and the way they, chips. the way they disrespect <laughs> cultures at a Sandra deli. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to check and take a penne pasta? <laughs> Just fuck it all together. Fuck. I like banged on the mic because it scared me. That's how much nicotine I've had. Do you want a bolognese pie? <laughs> I just made it there. I don't know what the fuck it is. Do you want a lasagna taco? <laughs> just fucking jamming oh, cultures like. together. For fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, we got some fucking uh, questions. We'll work through here. What was the first thought when your ankle snapped, James? My first thought, like, my first thought was just legitimately, oh, um, I've, I've fucked it here, like, that was that was the, all that went through my head was I fucked it, crawled to the corner, and just I don't know I it just went through my head that I was I was doomed. I was like, they're done. Like, thank was, God you were staying. Thank oh lad, thank God I I never felt no pain like the entire time. Like even the next day, like I wasn't even hungover and I fucking should have been like. Did they give you anything in the hospital? No, no, give me no. You were pissed. Yeah, I was just pissed and like it was me and some other woman. She had a broken ankle. And she was sober and she was like, ah, fuck my ankles. And I was just kind of sitting there and being like, mine's all right. Like, and they gave her a wreck of morphine and I was pure jealous because I got no. She was, she was looking all about how class it was. Yeah, like And a, they wouldn't give me nothing. That's like a Brian Regan bit. You just got to be the loudest in the hospital. You, yeah, for sure. Like, and see, see in the hospital that time of night, it's a shit shoe as well. Oh, I'm sure. Everybody's just drunk and drugged up and oh, running around the place and the nurses just fucking chasing them and beating them and like... You see why they would. I bet you just you could predict the clientele and like an A and E. <laughs> he literally I, I remember what did I do? Something something to myself anyway. Might have been that broken arm. And it was like a Saturday morning. Yeah. And it was just all builders with like fingers missing. And, you know, like they, they went in on a Saturday for a bit of overtime and just like a bit of tile in his head and nothing. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, like everybody in was so drunk and fucked up that I was like, I'll just try and be as quiet as possible and not a nuisance. So I just sat there. That was my whole I remember having to go, game. go to A&E with Maureen one time and there were so many people like there was people in that were clearly trying to blag like painkillers right oh yeah like there sure. was just going it's so much pain and then she was suggesting drugs to the doctor yeah so she can i get the diet morphine blah 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and the guy was like no. the one that came out last year come on he's, he's like there's fuck all wrong with you <laughs> and then there was one dude who looked like you know just every friday he got pissed and was in there and he was fucking knew where everything was you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah. coffee off that's my he pillow serving people drinks and shit. he's got his own cup and all in there and, uh, what are you looking for toilets just over there <laughs> and then he would just turn around like violently like hack something up into the sink like <laughs> oh sir hey i have the, I have the most ridiculous picture of me in the hospital i don't know could i like is this, can you get it up if i send it to yeah you can send it now yeah yeah i need to send you this picture this was me like fucked i went in and immediately passed out for like three hours with there let me see and I look like a the corpse. State, the state I was in. That I, shows how fucked up everyone was. Oh that I was God. shattered ankles off to the hospital. And the worst thing that happens to me is people go, you didn't even seem that bad. And I was like, bro, I was trying to order a fucking subway on the phone <laughs> with, with like one eye open. Like, <sighs> that was so true as well, because we were drinking so much that we th I thought it was like so fucking late. And I was like eight o'clock in the evening. Let me me see. and Mickey were at the bar ordering shots. And... I looked up. I looked down. It was like twenty to nine or something, and the, two, and the two of us just burst out laughing. Like, what the fuck? Oh my! Like, I know. Like, what the? F that was fucking shocking. Like, I couldn't do that again. I've got my thirtieth birthday coming up, and my mom was like, "You need a big party," and I'm like, "I, I still can't handle that from the fucking community." When, when's your thirtieth? Thirty first of August. Nice. What are you doing? I don't know. I was thinking of like renting out. Um, I sent you that picture now. I was thinking of like renting out. Well, show me it. We'll put it in the oh, post. Sorry. Where'd that go? So where do you see this? Like, <laughs> Dude, I was just <laughs> corpsed out, lad. Someone needs to Photoshop an erection in there for sure. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it's a bummer, but it's a bit high up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming from my chest. <laughs> I've got issues, lads. Fate not erect. Does he have <laughs> any more stories about German nightclub toilets? Oh, is this a guy getting pissed in his mouth? Yeah, dude. Would you do it? Would I piss? Would you pay, like, if opportunity arose and somebody was just there, but like, you can piss in my mouth, would you do it for the crack? 
I'd be like, listen, bro, I can't guarantee any accuracy. <laughs> yeah, this gonna just over the It's gonna be down, f- down the front of your shirt, <laughs> on your shoes. He puts on a bib and all. He's like, don't worry, I'm used to it. Would it do it? I mean, I would definitely do if, it. If, if all the lads were there and it was a bit of crack and he was definitely just loving it. Yeah, like, I think this guy does love it. So, he, like, he stays in the burger camp. Apparently, he's like a legendary character. And he's like, it's open 24 hours and he'll just come in and just chill in the toilets for like eight hours or whatever. Just get lads to piss in his mouth. He needs a TikTok. Oh, that guy needs it. That would blow the... You need to get that guy in this book. He's doing a wee voiceover. Like, hey, guys, tonight I'm looking forward to being pissed <laughs> on many, many times. As you can see here, I'm wearing my latex suit, so it runs off quite this easy clean. It is easy clean. I didn't drink much today because I knew I would be taking in a lot of fluids tonight, <laughs> so I've, I've really only had two cups of tea. Fuck. I keep banging on the mic and scaring myself. <laughs> ah, does he? Fuck. Does no, I, you know, like if he's working a shift, does he take breaks the way anyone else would take? Ah, he's like, clogging oh, up. I said I'll be back in two minutes. I'm just <laughs> going outside for a fag. And he's just standing he's like, there. here is my intern, and he's just fill in. soaking with steam coming off him in an alleyway. <laughs> he's like, fuck, this working cracks no good. Hey, you're uh, complaining about his job. I'm back to back. I'm on the twelve at night, and then back in six in the morning and fucking rag mice. Oh, lad, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it won't last me on the bus no way home <laughs> <on>. fucking disaster <laughs> I, yeah I probably would piss this man I think about it. you have to like, it's, it's part of life I would do it in a funny way is he what's he doing is he sitting, like, is he sitting on a wee stool or something don't know like so we didn't make it in because like they say the line for it is you'll be in line minimum like four hours and then you get to the door and how you get in is the bouncer judging if you're cool enough to get in basically if you've like I feel like you need to look like that heroiny chic kind uh-huh. of fucking like you're half dying. They're like, "Oh, that guy's cool." Let him in. I would. I definitely wouldn't have got in. What think. if you're standing in line, like squeezing your dick, like hopping foot to foot, just being like, I could "Let me in, man." <laughs> Please, I'm Boston. I'm Boston. <laughs> I'm loading up for this all day. <laughs> I'm on the, on the green tea and fucking stells. But to blast this guy's fucking teeth out. <laughs> oh. fucking, uh, brutal. That'd be such a letdown, though, if you fucking got, if to, you couldn't if piss. You got to the door and some guy was just like, "Not tonight." I know. I know. I thought you meant like you couldn't pay, you couldn't like piss in that guy's mouth and he's like pure looking at you disappointed. He's like, lad, that's pathetic. God's sake, I'm sitting here with my mouth open like a, fucking, <laughs> like a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. You're making it awkward, lad. I wonder if he got his phone in one of those wee bags that you know, you, <laughs> yeah. you, you, like a Japanese girl would take in a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking Ziploc bag. <laughs> sandwich bag. With a on Kelly's. <laughs> What's something you did or said as a child that gives you secondhand embarrassment thinking about? Oh, I can tell you exactly what oh, I did. Go for it. What is it? I remember being in a very, you know, as imagine, imagine the UVF did a chippy. All right, okay. I was in one of those <laughs> with my ma, and I think I just learned to read and thought I was a, like a wee smart guy. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I turned. I said to my ma, I was like looking up at the board, and I was like, "What's a PSD?" <laughs> And, and, and like everyone himself. in the shop was like, it's a pasty, you fucking uh, wee dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, uh, this was. And the, by the way, it is pasty. It is a pasty, yeah. You know what I mean? It's if you if you could read, it's pasty. I fucking had a similar situation in um on the way home from Amsterdam. I was in line at the airport for a Starbucks, and I got right to the front, and she gave me the fucking. She gave me my coffee and she goes, okay, enjoy your flight. And I was like, yeah, thanks, you too. And then I was like, I can let you turn around my fuck and the whole line laughed at me. They're all in Germany, like that German. <laughs> yeah, they're allowed to, they're allowed two audible laughs a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, it was so cringy. Like I was embarrassed. Back to, I used to live with a German guy in the uni. Did you? No crack. No. no crack. Yeah, they have a very different level of what they find funny than us. And I was on a design course and I thought, oh shit, we got a we got a German guy in doing like graphic design. This guy's gonna be shit hot. And he's terrible. Oh no. Bad at him, bro. Are you still friends with him? No, I wasn't really friends with him at the time. Not for want to try him. Mm. You know, we were all like, man, we're going out Sebastian. We're going out in a rep here. And he'd be like, No, I'm not here. He's like, don't be specific. I've never seen a guy wear more beige. Beige, yeah. Beige head to toe. Mm. Beige. He was on that easy shit before he was <laughs> before it even got big. He, he was on that fucking the that, yay train that skin tone uh, <laughs> Crawford's versus Eurospar Mahara who wins oh that's a fucking that's a good question I'm a Crawford's man you know oh good to hear yeah they've got like they've got nice produce so they make it themselves <laughs> uh, they make their own baguettes they do not they do surely Jesus. to the one downside they have is they, they used to have Cuisine de France donuts uh-huh. and they were the tits like swear to god and then they started making their own and they suck yeah Cuisine de fucking, fucking shit Cuisine de fuck off with that <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where's Frails? Oh, Jesus. Frails? I know that, but I, I should know. on a bar that. up near you somewhere? I should know that. I, I stopped, it is, yeah, I think I so. stopped in there on the way to like Port, Port Rush or something one day. Yeah, it was great. It was a good, good time. I ordered Goujons and it was like the most and 
most amount and biggest goujons I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, like that's like they were literally like that's four chicken breasts. Cut <laughs> yeah, I in love half, that shit. And it was like a mountain of fucking chick. I love that. Like that's I think that's what people up, up around there appreciate. They don't want like Taste? that. They don't want the high class fucking small portion, but it'll blow your mind how good it is. They just want a rack of slop on a plate. Like the the worst thing that's all they could get was like I wasn't it wasn't much of a feed now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know. I, I'm not fucking sweating. I'm not ready to shut myself here. Like yeah. that was not good. If they're ordering goujons, give them the heap. <laughs> give them the heap, sir. That happened to me in Lavery's one night. I ordered food really late, and I think they just went, give them the rest. Was, was that not the other night? Uh, like, you got this huge plate of goujons. No, that was, that was wee Chris ordered me goujons, and then they, that was, that they, was they were big. No, they, 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 like, I got wings one night. I was like, what time is the kitchen? Because I was starving. I was like, what time is the kitchen shut? And they're like, 10. I went, thank fuck. It's about quarter to 10. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know, on the menu, it says half a kilo of wings That's but I, I think it was the end of the night and the chef was just like well give him the rest he might as well wings. take the rest of what <laughs> yeah. we have and it was like fucking it was like three kilos of wings oh dude I can't do I can't eat before a gig like oh I, this was after like all oh, right, right I could not do that I'm like do you know what everyone's like let's go get food before like I cannot eat I just have to sit there and watch everyone else eat um I do I don't mind going not like out of nerves or anything I just feel like if I eat I'm sleepy so that'll be on stage like you know, like pure uh, lethargy if, if I can eat at about say the gig starts at half eight yeah i can eat it like six right okay you know, no, i literally don't window. eat all day that's mental yeah no and then i stuff my food so it's gonna be bad like if i'm gigging like four days a week like it's fucked it's not good like just don't eat just wait till after and fucking undo all the Hitting good the Mickey D's. any more funny filming with william coming up the pride ones were brilliant yeah, so we got our Amsterdam video was going to drop soon well no it's probably not going to drop fucking ages because we still have a belfast segment of film right and uh, but we just haven't got around to doing that. I don't know when we will. But it's like we're selling a bottle of squirt. <laughs> so it's like a drink we made that we're pretending to be influencers. Remember, like, Prem got huge yeah. there. So we're like, right, we're going to come up with our own fucking brand. And it's going to be like, it didn't work in Belfast. So we took it to, like, Amsterdam. And we got some good shit. Like, like a bottle of squirt? Would you like a bottle of squirt? Dude, the fucking, some people in Amsterdam, like, it, the, the Dutch didn't want anything to do with us at all. No. Like, we didn't get one Dutch person interviewed, but we got, like, loads of Americans and Australians and Brazilians, and they were... There probably is no Dutch people in the fucking red light district. Yeah, oh, they, they probably hate it, like, at yeah. that point, like... The rest of the town's gorgeous, you know. You yeah, go, it's you fucking go nice. Go up the top of the town, lovely. Yeah, but it's fun It's fun to walk around. Like, see if you go around during the day as well. Like, instead of going at night, like, they, they have, like, different tiers. They must get, like, different chefs. Like, if you're, like, a specific look, they're like, right, you're going on during the day. <laughs> like you're not gonna be like you're not prime time i tried to do material about it but it sounded like i was being a bit mean towards yeah, okay, yeah. you know so like i was like i popped out for a coffee in the morning in amsterdam and i was like the girls doing the morning shift are not the headliners on Dude, it like, i swear to god they look like wwe wrestlers like they would fuck your world up like yeah you know I mean? maybe it's something that's into that but i said like who's you know who's going the prostitute like 10 i was like you don't want to be banging someone and there's a half-eaten bowl of weed bags in the back. <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah. they, sit, they sit in the windows during the day just texting and chanting each other. Like, yeah. they, they're not attempting to be sexy in any way. Like, like, I, like I walked past and glanced in and there was a girl like pulling up fishnet stockings yeah. and she looked like Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> no harm to Jordy. Was or, or like, it was Jordy. It was probably Jordy. <laughs> I love this one. That's where he bees. That's where he is. Colin, I know you're a man with a passion for fashion. <laughs> Are there any new brands on the come up? Uh, you or James have your eye on that you like, or does Carhartt never fail? Dude, is this a Carhartt hat? You, mm. you fucking souped me up like. Oh yeah, sweet hat, brand new shoes. Call the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Too much drip round here. Uh, Carhartt's just good for you know what I mean. You just want to fucking any new up and coming brands, man. I don't know. I just I only I like you're talking to Niall. I actually really, really like about three things. Really, I like New Balance. You know, I like Nike stuff. I like Carhartt. Yeah, uh, and that's about it. I like Vans, checkered shit. I'm I'm like a kid. I just go straight to Amazon and order like five fucking t-shirts for a tenner mm. of just fruit of the loom, and that's what I'll wear for like a year, and then I'll do it again at the end of the year. Respect. <laughs> yeah, I do. I was saying that there, and I do a lot of like, I'll just sit there and like look at a pair of trainers, and then look at a sweatshirt that I have, and then just be like orange snapback. <laughs> with, you know, just like looking for so specific shit, things. Shit, yeah. Okay, they black combat trousers. It's hard being a fucking 
ahead of the fashion curve like it is man tip, <laughs> it tip, so is tip of the spear when it comes to i look like i just got out of mcgabry on day release with this here fucking thing it's, it's i quite like it though it's very rocky is it you think so right? you know what i mean so, I like yeah. loving all the output though is there a reason why there's no video yet on spotify i know kieran bartlett has it so it's not just rogan What's oh, oh, Kieran has the fucking. <laughs> um, do 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 you want to go into it? Do you want to really go into it? I think they do. You have to host on Anchor to get video on Spotify, right? And it shits in my in my personal opinion. <laughs> yeah, the video's not good and it affects the audio. So you're like, fuck that. Wait, wait so what are they talking about? You haven't video your podcast? Yeah. So if you listen, oh, to on Spotify, you have on YouTube and shit, don't you? Yeah, but you know, if you open like um a rogan episode on spotify it'll have video but it's yeah, not it's okay, not great okay. video and i it i think it affects the quality of the audio too so yeah, I'd, okay. I'd rather just have good audio like you know if you're if you're listening to a podcast on your phone i doubt very you, much you're just sitting there like this yeah in the fucking I, I car. rarely like, watch you want you just for all ca- podcasts like just fucking audio is if you have like sexy audio and good audio yeah exactly that's all you need because you can hear when the ones are shit like yeah yeah yeah. yeah and yeah. it's 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 hard to listen to then Oh yeah, and then people do weird shit like you know, it's fucking do right. Um, like burping and vaping down the fucking thing, you know, we're a mess. Um, That's why I don't vape because I vaped on a podcast. I was given a vape, and then I just vaped. You'll be sick, bro. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I've got I've got the burps. He's got the nicotine, yeah, fucking dude. Oh, like there was a minute in the, in, the, in the middle of this podcast, I was literally like overdosing on nicotine. There, I was oh, like, yeah. Jesus Christ, holding it together by you, a fucking thread. You do get a bit like, I'm gonna be sick here yeah. if, you, if you have too many of those fucking. I had pouches. to whip, whip out the Lucas Eight Sport for that. Like I was about to die. Thirty three percent longer. <laughs> I bet you they regretted doing that ad. They just had the piss taken out of it forever. <laughs> Take this, you're cocked. Thirty-three percent longer. <laughs> yeah, never hear of Bono or Geldof these days, do you? State of the place. What? So that was well loud. You never do hear. I actually seen now. I don't know if you seen the tiny desk with yeah. Bono. Did you? I did. Was I it had, good? Had it, the choir. It was it, well. He, like he was by far the worst singer in the room. Oh yeah. yeah you know yeah, they yeah. had a full, they had a full choir there. Do you ever do you notice that? Like some singers, they'll go on that, and it is the backup singers that you're appreciating far more. Like you're like without them, this would sound shit. Like but the, I would say that's every recording artist in the world. Yeah. So I like I I quite like Mark Miller, but. His, like when you're listening to some of his stuff it's just like i'm like what am i got there yeah. but then there's a full choir behind making it sound epic as shit but that's the difference between being a, a singer and an artist i think yeah that's it you like, know you can be yeah, able- you don't even need to sing you don't even need to be good at singing to make it as a singer there's there's tons of them yeah yeah yeah. Jimi hendrix see but he's about singer, right? jack white you know none of these guys have good voices like yeah yeah fucking ah uh, that's so true man jack white's fucking sweet guitar i've seen him so much i tell oh. you i met him before didn't i at the airport. Oh yeah, and you asked for. I asked for a pitch. I, I was like, "That's fucking Jack." What? Like we were being cons. So I seen him. <laughs> I seen him. Jack in, lad. <laughs> yeah, dude. I seen him in the first airport. I was like, "That's Jack White." My mate was like, "Lad, not everybody in a black t-shirt, black hair is Jack White." And I was like, "That's literally him, though." And then we got on the not plane. Not everyone had <laughs> a fucking East Wind Airline. <laughs> <laughs> I got on the plane. And, red, and head to toe red is Jack White. <laughs> It looks like Jack White. You know what I mean? Oh, lad. We got on the plane, and then he got on the plane too. Like, it's a regular, wee small flight. So we were just sitting on the plane going, dun, 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 hoping he would hear us, and he didn't. So I was like, fuck, he didn't. And then we seen him at the airport again. I was like, I'm going to fucking ask him for a photo. Walked right up to him. I was like, yes, um, Jack White. And he was just like, pure shifty. He was like, because I don't think he wanted to be noticed. I was like, can I have a photo? And he's just like, nah, not right now, man. As if I'm going to see him ever again. But he's yeah. like, not right now. And I, just, I respected it, though. When's good, Jack? When's good? <laughs> I can wait. I'm here all day. I'll come back in about half an hour, sure. <laughs> Where are you flying to? Where are you flying to? <laughs> I just shook his hand and left. My mate ruined it, though, because he doesn't like Jack Wood. And he was standing beside me in, like, the tiniest shorts and, like, a wee backpack on him, just, like, pure. I was like, dude, you're totally cramping my style here. Like, oh, God. I would have got a photo if it wasn't for him. What do you do to Jack White? Like, do you, you know, what do you say? I just, fuck, I don't know. I just shook his hand. It's like, I'm a big fan. I'd probably just be frozen solid. Be like, <laughs> yeah, you love Jack White, don't you? Well, I actually seen, I seen the White Stripes fuck, that'd be good. in London at the O2 Wireless Festival. And it, like, the lineup was quite shite all day. And then it was Queens of Stone Age, White Stripes. So that'd Queens of Stone Age was like, it's fucking lethal. Yeah. And then White Stripes, because it was, and then they, they just were not a thing after that. Like they kind of yeah. broke up. But I remember just being like, this is so my favorite thing that I'm actually kind of paralyzed with. Yeah, you're not, you can't, like I, you can't enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, like, like I was literally just like. 
this is class man. <laughs> and the, the way you know because there's only two people on stage so they try and like busy the, the visuals yeah so yeah. they had like lights going up at him that made a giant fucking shadow in the backdrop yeah. which was just one big red square like that uh, so there's a big fucking shadow flying about in the back sick, I, would love, like, I would love to see them so much i know uh, that, that's crazy that i have seen them because it's i was yeah. just like a lot of time you're like a lot of you know sometimes you're like you don't actually ever get to see your favorite band because they're yeah. either dead or broke up <laughs> yeah. or something like that. I was like, that's fucking wild, man. Yeah, no, that was like, when I was a kid, I got really into Michael Jackson for like a year. I was like, Michael Jackson's pretty fucking sick. Just dawned on me. And then he fucking died like immediately after I started liking him. I was like, fuck. I killed him. Like, <laughs> my love for him killed him. I could have seen him on that tour. <laughs> Set his hair on fire and all. I fucking, I'm, I've seen some, some people, I've, I fucking seen Wim Hof at the airport in Amsterdam as well. Did you? Yeah. What's he doing? Just blowing up the back of a plane. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> he was just standing there waiting for someone and I, I just pointed at him. I was like, yes. And he just kind of nodded at me and I was like, yes. I just laughed at it. Wim gives a photo. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> 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 There's our uh, boy. Is this Jack Jacqueline White? Wait. Is that Sam Smith? Jesus. Oof. That's a That's a rough look. <laughs> <laughs> that is like He's going for the He used to be so reserved. He's really, he's just, he's... He's you know, like, he's, I'm getting my fucking tits out. He's, he's living his best it. life. He is, he's fucking having a crack. What's up someone taking selfies behind him? Oh, he's doing the whole, like, I'm a celebrity, this is... He's got pipes, like... <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure he does get pipes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for, I mean, it's whatever. Do whatever you mm. want. Do whatever you want. I seen him once. Like the songs would be enough for me if yeah, it was a fan. Like, if it was I a fan, like I would just be like, just sing a song. <laughs> yeah, and it used to be like, I don't know, he's just taking a new direction. But it's <laughs> a new direction. Uh, but it's it's just like you know, if it was if it was if it was anybody else, if it was a, if it was fucking Charlie XCX. Mm. Would I have a sideways pocket boner? Yes, <laughs> but I'd still, possibly. I'd still be like, it's fairly unnecessary. You know what I mean? You're yeah. like, come on, do you fucking stickers over your tits? And all that. <laughs> Where does he get the boots though? That's what I like to do. They're fucking knee high looking. That's what you should have had on before oh, you broke your I fucking. I need some of that shit. Broke your fucking scaffolding around my legs. <laughs> They're fucking Forrest Gumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still can't run. No, like, no, I can't run at all now. Like, I, my feet just are like this. I think it, it's actually reinforced my ankles. They're like pure bricks now. Like, oh, yeah. they feel solid as fuck. You just don't move. But I just anymore. can't move. <laughs> oh, fuck. You need a little rehab, don't you? Um, right, last question. Have you ever wanted to get on Kill Tony podcast? No. No, nah, I, I would never do that. I think it's humiliating. Yeah, I would. I would. That, that's the fear is you're going to go up and everyone's going to shit on you. And especially. And it's recorded forever. Like, this. if you. How long have you done stand up? Oh uh, fuck! I don't know. Uh, that's another thing. Like everyone's like, "This is my fucking three years to this day." I started. I'm like, I have no way. Like fucking couple of years before the pandemic, three years before the pandemic, and then now. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that's about what I've done. I think. Yeah. yeah. I still wouldn't do it. Yeah, you're too far gone now. I think if you were like just doing all of anything you could do in your first year of stand up or something, yeah, yeah, you'd maybe yeah. do it. But uh, see, see, once you got like. I went to LA with Aaron and we all we all signed up and it ruined my night. I was just <laughs> I, was I was just sitting there going, "See if this motherfucker calls my name." <laughs> and and like just before that, you know what I mean? You're like, "I've done fucking tours and big gigs." Yeah, I don't you need know to be I mean? doing like, this. Like, and now I'm shit myself because I'm trying to think of what fits into a minute. Yeah, I mean, a minute. Like, what the fuck do you even say? McCann had a fucking great line though. I thought his was good. It was like Irish people have the highest suicide rate, but they're also the happiest nation. And then he goes, Jerry, be so happy, you just want to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> that was fucking great. You would need to go through like a recorded set and see like what was a minute. Yeah, exactly. You know, because I would have no idea. Yeah. And it, oh, fuck, yeah, like a lot of minds as well. Like I, I'll like talk quite a bit before the punchline. So I, like, I wouldn't even get a fucking joke out. Like, <laughs> yeah. like oh, that was pathetic. <laughs> Do you know what I chopped my hair <laughs> Like fucking just roast the tits off me. Ah, fuck it. Tony's mean, lad. He seems like a mean boy. Oh, he's a wee, he's a wee fucking, just a wee cat. He? He's a wee <laughs> cheeky cat. 
Because there is something about, you know, we're all comedians and having a laugh, but then it does hit a point where you're like, I'll fucking boot you in that <laughs> you're wall. You're just being mean, bro. I'll fucking fold you up <laughs> and just put you, you in a bed. You can kick the shit out of Tony's. I can kick through Tony Edgecliff. <laughs> Literally. Like wet tissue. Just crushes crush his skull like, like a you know, cat. Just see him like a mouse before it gets hair on it. Like a wee, <laughs> like a wee pinky. I just boot clean through his back. Literally. Like Kill Tony as right. <laughs> Scraping him off the fucking wall. <laughs> But anyway, right, well, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to piss myself. Uh, cheers for coming on, James. No worries. Godspeed with a new feet and all that there business. Uh, have you anything to promote? Um, no, I'm just... By the gigs coming up, but I think they're all... Like, I've, I'm doing support for you two nights next week. So they're sold out anyway. Fucking sold out. <laughs> no buttons. I was wondering, is that going to be? Um, do fucking... Uh, next week, so I've got two gigs for you next week. I'm supporting William and then supporting Patty as well. Fantastic. So it's fucking all good. Man. New shoes, new hat, new me. Couple of stickers in your tits. That's it. Out of here. Uh, that's it. Cheers, guys. Cheers for joining us. And we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you on the other side, won't we? <laughs> <laughs>